What's up, wrestling fans? I hope you guys are having a really good day today. Um, we're going to talk about these Undertaker uh, criticisms all over Twitter. Taker actually responded, man. I'm surprised he engaged in these buffoons. But he went ahead and he did. So we'll talk about that really quickly here. And, of course, I will get to um, the Shad uh, Gasper uh, stuff at the end here. But also, uh, make sure you guys subscribe down below and you hit the bell and you watch all my videos. Otherwise, you'll miss out on my content. YouTube actually shows you more of my content the more you come back here. So come back here on your own a whole bunch. You know how it works. They do the same thing on Facebook. Undertaker um, was in this um, you know, documentary recently that I'm going to be watching the... Uh, whole part two in just a minute here. I'm going to be watching it so me and Jake can break it down, talk about it, have no what we're talking about. And on Twitter, there was an exchange where people were, you know, basically talking about The Undertaker's right-wing shirts, his right-wing shirts, which I don't really know exactly what these shirts were. So we're going to show them in a second because I'm kind of baffled by this. But um, somebody named Hanzo Mann or Heel Mitchell, whatever that is, so it's probably a troll guy, um, said, me watching Last Ride trying to ignore all Undertaker's right-wing shirts. Undertaker, which is not a bad comment. That's kind of a funny comment. It's not even that bad. You know what I mean? You know, it's not like somebody was like, I will not watch the network because Undertaker's shirts. You know, like that's, that would be crazy. So let's give the guy some credit. It kind of was like a little bit of a joke and he's obviously left-wing. So, you know, that's okay. That's stuff people say back and forth a little bit. But Undertaker did retweet back to him or tweet back to him, which is kind of crazy. Uh, everyone knows that WWE is apolitical. It's all about the flag, the American flag. I mean, the guy's the American badass. Since when is being American, you know, <laughs> I mean, like right wing or whatever that guy was saying. So I'm not really sure. So I went to take a look at some of these shirts that they're talking about here. And I guess this is what I found. Um, I mean, here's the Undertaker um, with a heart. Davidson t-shirt. I mean, if Harley Davidson is a threat, I don't know. That's from back in the day, though, in the footage. But here's him currently in his current t-shirt, which is like a Texas with blue tape across. I guess that's like an American flag of Texas. I mean, dude, you know what's weird about this? This is so this is so not this is so reverse what the person is saying, because a lot of times there's a sentiment in Texas of like, hey, let's break away from the United States. Much like the extreme left of California, they want to break away from the United States to be fully progressive left or whatever. Well, the Texas people have always talked about breaking away from the USA to be full, independent, free right. But here the Undertaker is wearing a Texas t-shirt with the American flag, not the Confederate flag or not like some other flag in there, not even the Texas logo. It's the American flag, which... which symbolizes all of us being united under the American flag. That's what it means is we're all united despite our differences and despite the different theories and things that we all think. Our states will be a little bit different so we can all flex and decide where to go based on how we believe things, but yet we're all united together as one. This is a, a shirt that to me shows Texas united as one with the entire country. But um, and, and then I mean, but this is what we're talking about in the year 2020 and Taker actually responded to this guy which I don't blame him a little bit because there was probably a lot of comments and there's probably a lot of worse ones, and this is the one he decided to respond to. Now, I went and looked at the guy who wrote this uh, tweet to him, and yeah, we are going to get to Shad Gaspar in a, in a few minutes. And by the way, if you're new, you better subscribe down below because I'm making videos every damn day and you need to be here for it. Um, the troll who said this to him, you know, which really wasn't that big of a deal, what he said. It was just kind of like a funny little comment. I think it's kind of funny in a way, but it didn't really apply, though. Like, it's not like if The Undertaker had, like, six different crazy, like, like, like the South will rise again or like, you know what I mean? Guns are for real men or, you know, things like that. He wasn't even wearing shirts like that. Not that, by the way, he could wear those shirts if he wanted to. Um, who couldn't? But I, I'm just saying it's not even close to this, this crybaby stuff. But this person has a Tumblr. <laughs> okay. This person has a Tumblr on Twitter. That's all that you need to know at that point. But anyway, I don't know. The Undertaker made his life by uh, tweeting to him, I guess. You know, I don't know. So I have no, I, I can't believe that people, that he has to even respond to this type of thing. Um, it's like, I don't get triggered really. I don't get triggered when somebody has a, has a, um, who's the woman in WWE right now? Sonya Deville, who's the LGBTQ. She's doing a lot of stuff for that. I don't get triggered when I see Sonya Deville with her rainbow uh, t-shirt. In fact, I like, I kind of like her t-shirt. I don't know if you guys have seen it. In fact, I've got rainbow colors almost in my background. When I see somebody with a t-shirt that, that says everybody's included and it's like a rainbow shirt, 
I don't get triggered by that. I'm like, yeah, that's true. I agree with that. As long as you're not running over somebody else's rights to get your message across, you're totally cool. You know what I mean? Whether it's a South t-shirt about, you know, freedoms and the Second Amendment, that's cool. If you have a rainbow t-shirt about, you know, everybody, you know, accept everybody, you know, that's cool too. Why are we so crazy about these shirts? And I think one of it, one of the reasons is because we think about the only the bad people we know, right? You're thinking about the crazy right wing, crazy nuts that are the, like some of the, the small, tiny amount of them that are actually bad people. And the people that are mad at the LGBTQ uh, T-shirts are thinking about the small, tiny majority of the crazy SJW LGBTQ people that are crazy. So now you don't like anything that has to do with that when you see it. So we all are doing that to each other. We need to stop doing that. You need to understand that The Undertaker is a good guy. You know, Mar Mark Calloway is a, a good guy, man. He loves his country. He loves stuff. He's not a bad guy. You know, Mark Henry um, wouldn't, you know, and, and other wrestlers of color and other people wouldn't put this guy over if it wasn't for what he is. So it's just so stupid, you know, but this is nowadays what's going on and people are just so triggered. But really, it's just kind of a fun thing to talk about because it's so just goofy and embarrassing at this point that it's ridiculous. So, I mean, come on. So we all know what it is. It's BS. Anybody with a brain knows that. Um, nobody's actually angry about this that doesn't have the brain cells of a pea, you know. Nobody's actually upset about this. Uh, they called off the search, Chad Gaspar. We talked about this uh, yesterday on the show. This is a tough one for me to talk about. I can't even do it, man. Um, I had a real problem uh, doing this, uh, talking about this the other day. And I just because I keep thinking about the guy's kid at the beach and going home and you, you have to leave the beach and you leave without your dad. Like you go to the beach for a fun day and you guys are swimming and, and everything's cool. And you you know what I mean? You you get something crazy happens out there. You get swept out in the water. I think his son is 10. And, you know, your dad's trying to save you and you're struggling and you're scared. And, and the next thing you know, you know, you're on the beach and they're looking for your dad and they never find your dad. Dude, I, I can't even talk about this. So they didn't find him. They're not going to find him because he's out in the ocean. And that's all. That's the U.S. Coast Guard called off the, the search. And it's because he's, he's out in the ocean, bro. It's There's nothing else to say about it. Sorry to end on. I should have started the show with this. But um, anyway, that's all I can say about it, man. Rest in peace to him. And uh, thoughts go out to his family. It's just I don't know why this one really bothers me this week. Um it just sucks. Like, I just feel really bad for his kid, man. I want to give his kid a hug. I just want to hug his kid. I just want to tell, you know, I don't know what to say, man. I lost my dad when I was eight. So, like, I, I think about this type of stuff with people's uh, fathers. And whenever a kid loses a dad, I think about it. I want to talk to them because I know, I know, you know, exactly what it kind of feels like at that age. So, um, just terrible shit, man. Uh, it's, it, seemed, it seemed like he was a good dad. We don't know anything. But um, out with his family, doing good stuff. Might have saved his kid's life. It looks like too. We don't really. I don't really know all the details, but um, yeah. Sorry to bring you down with that, but uh, under to bring you back up. Uh, Undertaker Last Ride Part Two. If you haven't seen it, I guess you got to watch that because me and uh, Jake DeMarco are going to be discussing it. And um, Martha Hart has been stirring uh, in the wrestling world again. All of a sudden. And it's very interesting. Uh, everybody's commenting on this. Jerry the King Lawler, Bret Hart is commenting. Um, says I have unfortunately I have no relationship with Bret. Martha said Bret was supportive throughout the lawsuit, but there were a few things that were a problem with Bret. Um, we we're going through the lawsuit. He really was hoping that I would be able to help him get his wrestling footage, because at the time he had no relationship with WWE, and he was hoping somehow, if ever there was a settlement, that he could work that in. So that's all Bret Hart cared about was getting his re getting his wrestling footage in, uh, or I don't know if he's talking about Owen or Bret, but um, he was very upset that he didn't get his footage. I prompted him to be to befriend Vince McMahon, the chairman, so he could have access to the footage. That was the first fracture in our relationship. While I am not interested in engaging in any more media mudslinging between Martha and myself, especially in light of global pandemic, I'll say that our fallout was multifaceted. So he's taking the high road there. But yeah, Martha Hart is coming out, man. And I wonder if, you know, that's going to lead to something finally with Owen. 
and the WWE, maybe she's finally sort of decided to open up to the fans or the people. I, I don't know. So, it's, But it could be good news. As far as uh, people that want to see this Owen Hart footage and, and Owen Hart documentaries more, I mean, why would you do this thing with Vice and all these other things if you weren't open to WWE doing it? I mean, I guess that's the problem is she doesn't want WWE to get anything out of Owen, I suppose, because then why would you do this? So I'm not really sure what that's about. But anyway, uh, tonight is Corrupted uh, on Corrupted Nation. My other YouTube channel is Throwdown. If you guys like the video today, I hope you hit the subscribe button and you hit the bell and you come back daily, more wrestling content. We're live after every WWE event, NXT and AEW. We talk about everything here. The Joe Cronin Show, I hope you do that. And uh, what do you think about this Undertaker situation? Leave it in the comments down below. Do you have a problem with his right-wing t-shirts? I mean, this could, I mean, for all we know, this is this could be a... This this might not be a left wing a right wing shirt, but even if who cares? Even if it was, well, you're not allowed to be to wear it. This shirt isn't even that bad, man. I don't even. I mean, maybe there's another. Is there another shirt that I'm missing? Can someone tell me? Maybe there's something else that I'm missing out on. Did he wear a shirt that said "Guns"? I kill people with guns. I mean, like I don't. Know. <laughs> anyway, uh, leave it down below. I'd like to know. Here's some other videos of mine that you might have missed. I'm Joe Cronin. This is the Joe Cronin Show for over eight years covering wrestling here on YouTube. Hope you guys be a part of my community by subscribing down below and uh, we'll see you in the next video here's other videos that you may have missed popping up right now